Hi all, I have an absolutely stunning over the board game to show you from the Korshnoi Memorial 2018. Two young Russian grandmasters playing each other, David Paravian against Savely Golubov. So Paravian is just 20 years old uh, and his opponent is only 17 years old. So David uh, Paravian playing white, the 20 year old, uh, plays the move E4. And we have e5, knight f3, and you wouldn't think this is too exciting. The Petrov's uh, Petrov's defense super solid. Knight takes e5, d6. The knight goes back. Knight takes e4, d4. This has all been seen before. D5, bishop d3. So far, pretty standard stuff. Absolutely standard. But here, slight novelty move, queen b3, according to chess base live book. Usually, two main moves in this position. Queen c2, putting a bit of pressure on e4. This uh, countering with knight b4 threat. This continuation has been seen quite a bit before with a supposedly even position. And there's also c takes d5 as another major alternative. And this has been seen a great deal in this uh, opening this this continuation where the, the rook is exerting lateral pressure and white is able to play c4 tactically and here uh, it's thought to be an even position as well very interesting uh, so anyway this this is a novelty move queen b3 it's not even really threatening this pawn because this bishop takes h2 after it's putting pressure on the queen side though we see d takes c4 giving white the isolated queen's pawn Bishop takes c4, which okay is uncomfortable for f7, but is that a big deal? Knight d7, rook e1, and this other knight comes to support. That knight bd2, knight takes d2, bishop takes d2, queen b6, offering the exchange of queens. White refuses and offers what might you know is the classically known as a poison pawn, or in variations of Sicilian, this is a poison pawn. Why is this b2 being offered here though? Is there a concrete reason? Black actually doesn't see a problem with taking it. We see uh, rook ab1, queen a3. So is black playing with fire here, uh, having the queen there? Well, there are certain dangers here with this queen being a tempo gainer. We see queen c2, the queen just dropping back here, avoiding the exchange of queens. And it means that rook b3 now is possible. And we see knight d5, rook b3. And the queen only has it's a very awkward square here. Can't go to a5 or a6. So queen a4. It looks as though it's okay. It's pinning uh, the rook against the queen. But sometimes the pinner can be a tactical liability in its own right. And we see now a very forcing move. Bishop takes d5. C takes d5. And now another very forcing move. Knight g5 threatening a crude mate in one. However. Isn't this justifying the queen there? It's hitting d4. Just weaken d4 with this move. Black plays g6, saying, well, what is this? <laughs> so d4 is hanging, and it seems as though black's fine. It's going to even play bishop f5, maybe. So the first little surprise twist of the game now. White to play. If I give you five seconds, what do you play with white? Okay, knight takes h7. Yes, very, very interesting. Uh, well, one point to note is king takes, then this is a liability with check hitting the queen. Uh, so this position is actually very advantageous, as you might expect, winning the queen there. Uh, another possibility, uh, taking this, just ignoring that, runs into bishop c3, it seems, with knight f6 to follow. That doesn't seem too tempting there, that pawn. This seems very logical, what was played, bishop f5. And then again, question to white, so what? What's happening here? What are you doing here? Well, white plays knight f6 check. Okay, and the king comes to attack the knight intuitively. That seems to be the best move. And if the king goes to the h file or king h8, then there's rook h3 check again, hitting the queen. So winning the queen. So knight f6 check, yep. We have king g7. Now here's a real surprise. This next move, I wonder if you can guess. Five seconds, pause video. Oh, 
okay a real shocker of a move bishop h6 check so two pieces now hanging <laughs> now uh, if King takes then there's check again winning the Queen that mechanism still exists and that's good enough uh, so the question here is now on King takes f6 which is what was played what is white actually doing here what was the point of this and this is probably <laughs> one of the one of the best moves of the year that I've seen uh, so I know we're we're just in August now so it's easier to say this after, after the midway point of the year um, but yeah this is one of the best moves I've seen this this year in over the board chess if I give you five seconds you might want to pause the video and try and guess it okay g4 it's a little bit crazy looking it actually has the immediate threat of g5 checkmates because the king hasn't got any escape squares here this is like boiling the frog where is, is a metaphor I like to use where the king's escape squares are being cut like and so the temperature of like the checkmate has gone gone up without being detected but here g5 yeah checkmate is being threatened and you might think well hold on a sec uh, this really doesn't work because isn't there f5 if g5 king f5 the thing is here white would play rook f3 and okay we can insert this just for whatever reason and then that loses that escape square check mate here so that's no good <laughs> to take the queen this is the stunning point uh, Bishop f4 is played let's look at a, uh, another alternative Bishop takes g4 there's actually Queen d2 here not only holding d4 but coming in for the kill with Queen g5 that's a very desperate uh, computer defense but yeah it's it's all pretty pretty nasty there uh, Queen d7 instead here uh, there's g5 checkmate so Bishop c2 we've covered Bishop e4 there's actually rook takes e4 here now queen takes covers that so g5 now is threatened checkmate black can play desperately like this but then check and then mating <laughs> uh, so actually bishop f4 uh, was tried after this g4 move bishop f4 now here's yet another stunning move from white this is real spectacular tactics in this game really spectacular but the king's escape square is extremely limited here so one might kind of be encouraged by that at least to look for stuff which is amazing can you guess white's next move five seconds okay so <laughs> we i mean this otherwise this would have been a really resourceful defense actually because uh, if it takes then the king's got Back, back g7 and stuff but no queen c7 keeping the bishop cutting the king and the queen is immune yeah if if takes then we have g5 checkmate so the queen is also threatening now queen e7 checkmate so there's two kind of checkmate threats well if the bishop wasn't covering g5 that's that's been extinguished but there's a new one queen e5 sorry queen e7 check is the new one so let's look at a few things here uh, why this is the strongest move just briefly by the way so taking there black's got a big advantage there's nothing going on there uh, here black just takes there this position I uh, could actually end up being good for white actually but it's much more difficult than the game continuation uh, so yeah this was a real stunner Queen c7 so black tries bishop takes h6 just to review this position yeah this one the mate threat is queen e7 bishop takes c7 there's g5 again because the bishop's been lured away from g5 uh, bishop e4 to give f5 queen takes f4 check in this case here this is just absolutely devastating anyway so yeah uh, so Bishop takes h6 was played and we have Queen e5 check 
not too many options for black and now h4 check yeah, I'm really forcing matters King takes h4 was played if King takes g4 then check check and Queen f3 threatens actually Queen h1 mating funny enough Queen d7 to try and parry that but here rook e5 is crushing for example this position is, is just going to be absolutely crushing check mating so uh, yeah so we have actually King takes h4 and now another yeah another beautiful uh, move played by white can you guess okay rook h3 yeah trying to get the king on h3 so it takes then there's queen g3 checkmate uh, so we have king g5 being played but now <laughs> yet another brilliant in the coffin here absolutely brilliant uh, taking away king's escape square back is queen e7 check uh, so trying to prompt f6 which will take uh, the reverse gear back out of the equation so black actually resigned here if f6 just to show then queen e3 check so the king's not going back to f6 and then queen g3 checkmate for example yep <laughs> uh, if king f4 then check in the same sort of thing queen g3 checkmate so this really caught the attention of a lot of people and this is the talking point <laughs> I mentioned oh have you seen that brilliant game recently and someone mentioned this and uh yeah it's gonna it's gonna be going viral this game it's one of the best games uh, of the year it's really quite shocking the tactics so congratulations to the young Russian grandmaster David Pravian and his opponents in this absolutely brilliant memorable game Hope you enjoyed it too. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks so much.